Welcome to day two. Welcome to the Welsh weather and welcome to the 790 adventure. This is what this video is going to be about today. As you can see overnight, the weather has taken a turn for the worse. We've got 40 mile an hour gusts, we've got torrential rain, and we've got to take the 790 adventure off road today at the Sweet Lamb off road facility and also ride it from Aberystwyth back to Silverstone. So it's going to be an interesting one. I think I'd better go don my waterproofs because I may need them. So uh, if that sounds good, grab yourself a cup of something warm and uh, Chopsy, roll the intro. Lovely. Pleasant out there. Today we're riding the 790 Dukes to Wales. Well, it's happened, the rain has finally caught up with us. Oh, here we go. Absolutely pissing down now. Oh, oh, what is that? It's wet out there. Disappointing, Mel, to me. Cheeseburger. Black in taste, flavour, consistency and volume. Absolutely spectacular. It's day two and the weather is not looking <laughs> it's looking very welsh it's looking very welsh out there so uh it's about 40 mile an hour winds absolutely tipping down with rain hot tub still on couldn't for the life of me work out how to turn that off there didn't seem to be any controls <laughs> so that's been on all night maybe i'll have a dip in there in a minute but yeah it's just horrible Absolutely horrible out here. So we're at Sweet Lamb and the weather unfortunately is not improving. It's absolutely bucketing down. It's so much rain that I can't actually mount my, my GoPro to my helmet because it'll just destroy it. It'll, you know, the water will get into the mic connection and it'll be destroyed. So we're gonna go out and see what we can achieve because I mean, this facility is amazing. So we're gonna go and ride the bike, see what we can do, and uh, see what we can catch footage-wise, and then on the way home, hopefully the rain will ease and I can get the helmet camera on. But it's pretty soggy. You ready, Kate, get out there? So we're gonna give this a whirl. As you can see, it's uh, quite wet. It's too wet for people. This is definitely weather for ducks. for the wet stuff. Well, apart from the light on. Oh, it's a little bit soggy out there, I'm afraid. Oh no, nothing out of that one. It was, wasn't it? Oh, you can see, yeah. It's a, it's a bit wet, it's a bit wet. New socks, please. So we've just spent two hours riding back from Sweet Lamb. We're just outside Worcester at the moment. Bikes are filthy. It's the first chance I've had to actually put the camera 
on the helmet because of the rain because it'll just destroy destroy the camera otherwise so we've got another hour to go till we get to KTM UK so I'll talk you through everything else about the bike while we're on the way back we just stopped for a coffee and a wee so 95 horsepower 87 Newton meters of torque so it's only slightly less powerful than the 890 so the 890 is 100 bike horsepower but 100 newton meters of torque so slightly down on power compared to the 890 but it's got the electronics you know the dash from the 890 not like the 790 dash but the full the full 890 dash a bit like the smt you know that new style of dashboard i've got this in the rally mode so this one's fully unlocked it's got the rally mode where you can adjust the slip and all of that business got banana in his pocket was he just pleased to see me these tyres are impressive, these pretty scorpions are really impressive. I could have got any quicker on the Duke. There ain't nothing wrong with this. <laughs> God. Wow, that, that's impressed me actually. When you get some dry roads and you unleash it. Bloody, bloody impressive. It's quite funny, quite fun to the hammer on an adventure bike. <laughs> yeah, it's impressive actually. I have to say. Made in China. That don't put me off. How's your cramp and your bottom? I don't know what? How's your cramp? <laughs> Not your crabs, your crab. So that's an 890. 890 Adventure 790. So you can see, apart from the colour difference, it looks sort of identical. And obviously that's the new design where this piece is sort of joined here. It looks much better than new, the new setup. Yeah, it's very good. And I do like this black colour. Look at the black one. Black one looks larry, doesn't it? Look at them. Look at them, absolutely filthy. Final leg, so 166 miles in. It's outside of Banbury now, just come off the M40. Um, yeah, what, what to say? I think it's been a little, uh, quite impressive, this little machine. You know, I think more than anything else with this trip, I think it's just to let people know that this bike exists and uh, it is a contender it certainly is a contender with your trans alps and your v-stroms and your tenerays and your tourags no, it's, a, it's a very good motorcycle i think it's one of the best in the class you know even though i've ridden it in isolation today i can't compare it to you know any of the other bikes you know this is just riding this today but i can tell you it, it's very good for the sort of thing I'd want to do, sort of gravel lanes, you know, all of that, absolutely fine on this. And because it's only 199 kilos dry, it's probably a 215 wet, you know. It's probably one of the lighter of these middleweight adventure bikes. It's got the full, you know, IMU, so you've got lean sensitive ABS. You've also got lean sensitive traction control as well. And what I do like about the KTMs, yes, you have to unlock things like your quick shifters and all of that sort of stuff, but everything is there. Cruise control, I think, comes as standard. So you've got cruise control and you can add heated grips. As I say, you can isolate traction and wheelie, you know, in the rally mode. So you've got everything there. So you're not, even though it's a middleweight, you're not, you know, not held back with what you can do. So it's a middleweight bike, so it doesn't come with cruise control or whatever. You know, it's got it all there. Yes, you have to unlock it. This bike 
is a £10,000 motorcycle and the reason it's a £10,000 motorcycle because the 790 range is now made, manufactured by CF Moto in China for KTM so whatever your views are about Chinese motorcycles you know the CF Moto is not your normal Chinese branded motorcycles I mean they've got a top top notch manufacturing facility it's impressed me this it has impressed me and this would be on my short list for sure if I was looking for a middleweight adventure motorcycle and for £10,000 bloody brilliant see you later guys